Hi, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps, and these are the most common questions about our tankless pressure pump system. First question is, what comes with the system? Let me go through that real quick. So, we have our tankless pressure pump here. This has our built-in controller and stainless steel centrifugal pump in. We have the brain of the system, which is our built-in charge controller and inverter in order to power the pump. This can take power directly from the solar panels and back behind, uh, not shown here, we have the batteries. So the batteries uh, come with the system. We also sell it without the batteries in case you already have an existing 24 volt battery bank system. The batteries that we sell it with are 55 amp hour gel batteries. These are top of the line and are gonna last hundreds if not thousands of cycles. That's years of operation for this pump. We also have our accessories. It comes with wires. And if, it, if you're buying it with batteries, it comes with the battery jumpers. Another great feature about this control unit is its ability to take AC power. And so you get an AC 220 volt input plug. It has a pigtail on it, so you can either directly wire it up to AC power if you have it available, or you can put on your own connector cord. So it comes with everything you see here, including the solar panels. Depending on the kit you purchase, it's gonna come with anywhere from 200 to 1200 watts of solar panels and the right number of batteries in order to support those number of solar panels. It's the same pump and controller for all the systems. So you can start small and build up later as you figure out what your exact water needs are. The next most common question is what sort of pressure and flow rates does your system provide? So I'll fire up the pump here and we'll see it starts up. And right now it's set to 40 PSI. The great thing about this system is we can set it anywhere as low to five or 10 PSI. And at 40 PSI, we top out around 20 gallons per minute. As you can see here, we're doing 40 PSI at 11 gallons per minute. And we can increase that here up to around 20 gallons per minute at the 40 PSI. Changing the pressure is super simple on this system. No more messing with little screws on pressure switches and I simply press the minus button and we can dial it right down to 20 PSI. You can see as I went lower in pressure, the pump speed reduced because it doesn't need to work as hard in order to pump that volume of water through this line. Here we have 20 PSI. That's perfect for your drip irrigation needs. This is excellent if you're doing off-grid farming, off-grid drip irrigation, watering plants, watering trees, whatever you need. The higher pressures are perfect for households where you want 30 to 40 PSI. You might be wondering, is this enough water for my off-grid house? And the answer is absolutely yes. For years, people have been using those little diaphragm pumps that produce anywhere from three to five gallons per minute and have had to live with that. That means while somebody's taking a shower, people can't wash dishes. And if you flush the toilet, the person in the shower is gonna know that's happening. With this system, at 40 PSI, we're getting nearly 20 gallons per minute, and that is perfect for a full-size off-grid house. That means somebody can take a shower, a couple gallons a minute, somebody can be washing dishes, a couple gallons a minute, somebody can even be running the hose outside, which may be doing 10 gallons a minute. All of those activities are gonna take place, and this pump is gonna be able to keep up without affecting any of those usages. A lot of people wonder if they're in an area where water is close to the surface, say around 15 feet, can they use this as a shallow well jet pump? And the answer is yes. So if you're in an area where water is 15 feet or less to the surface, then simply using a foot valve on the bottom, you can lower a line down and draw the water up. You do want to install that foot valve to make sure the pump maintains prime and doesn't start sucking air during times of non-operation. But you will decrease your water production and the maximum pressure slightly the more you're drawing water up, but it's still gonna be plenty of water for your household or your drip irrigation needs. So what is the plumbing on this pump? Let's go through that real quick. So here on our inlet side, we have inch and a quarter female pipe thread. Our outlet is one inch female pipe thread. This means you can hook up PVC pipe or you can do flexible plumbing, whatever you need in order to hook this into your water line.
another question we get quite frequently is where should this system be located? And so we do want this system enclosed. We want both the pump and the controller out of the elements, out of the rain, out of the snow. Just keep them dry and they're gonna be fine. The solar panels, obviously, we want those in a nice sunny location facing south for maximum exposure and maximum runtime per day. This is called our tankless pressure pump system. And a lot of people ask, what does the tankless mean? Well, it means you no longer need a pressure tank, a lot of times called a bladder tank. That's gonna save you hundreds of dollars from not having to buy and maintain that. The way we're able to achieve that is we built in the pressure transducer and the motor controller. So the motor can quickly react to loads in order to maintain a steady pressure without having this extra large booster tank with the system. People often wonder how far or how high can this pump push water? And the answer is it can do around 45 PSI, which to equates around 100 feet of pumping head. But as you pump higher, those 100 feet, you're not gonna be able to achieve maximum pressure at the top. So in this case, if you're pumping say 50 feet vertically, you're gonna be limited to around 20 to 30 PSI of pressure, and that's gonna decrease the higher you go. Related to that question is how far or how long into the distance this pressure pump can pump water. So the answer is it really depends on your pipe diameter that you're using. For a smaller pipe diameter, it's going to take more pressure in order to push longer distances. So you really want to look at a sizing chart also available at rpssolarpumps.com and we can help size the pipe diameter depending on the exact distance and flow rates you're looking to achieve. If you're new to off-grid pumping, you might be wondering, can you set this system up yourself? And the answer is absolutely. This is a plug and play, ready to go system. We provide the solar panels, we provide the batteries if you want them. We provide the controller along with the pump and the wires and accessories you need. All you need to do is plug them all together and hook up your plumbing lines and the system's gonna do the rest. It's gonna provide all the water you need for your off-grid location. So before we go, let me give you one more demo how it works. System's in standby mode. Anytime the flow stops, the controller realizes that and it shuts down into a low power mode with the pump no longer operating. And yet, with the built-in check valve, it can maintain pressure. When we start it up, the motor quickly ramps up to speed. Even if we change the amount of water we're drying, changes the speed in order to uh, match and keep maintain the pressure we want. This system is three years in the design and making with RPS. It is the solution to all your off-grid water needs. This system is years in the making and we developed it due to incredible demand from all of our customers. Right now, systems are going all over the United States to all of our customers who need to pump pressurized water for their household or irrigation needs. If you need a system like this, visit us at rpssolarpumps.com or give us a call today.